Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna to try this Panera Bread at home. This is the broccoli cheddar soup uh, flavor soup. We bought these at Target, they were $5.49, so they're not cheap, but um, but you do get quite a bit of food. I mean, it's pretty pretty, pretty good sized container. Um, I think it's, what does it say? I guess it said here. Um, yeah, 16 ounces of one pound of soup. So it's quite a bit, um, it's quite a bit of soup. So it's chopped broccoli, shredded carrots, and select seasonings. Simmered in a velvety smooth cheese sauce. The um, calories are 240 and there are two servings, about two servings in uh, in the container, which yeah, that's probably about right. So 480 if you eat the whole thing. Directions are in the bottom. Remove the lid and the film. Place in microwave and cover loosely. I usually just put a paper towel over top of it. Um, heat on high for three to four minutes until hot. Stir about halfway through, so I would probably do um, 145 and 145. That 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 should be good enough. Um, and then you can also do it in a stir the stove top if you want to. You just put it in a pan and basically boil it. So microwave uh, 145 stir and 145. So let's see what this looks like. I fear no anything. Does have a little tab to grab onto and pull it open. Yeah, it looks pretty, looks pretty thick. I'll probably take a spoon and rake down that um, stuff right now before I even even cook it. But then I'll put a paper towel over top of it just in case it boils over. Um, I may put one underneath of it just to be sure, but um, I made one of these before and I didn't have to, so I probably won't this time either. So I'll be back when it comes out of the microwave. It smells really good, by the way. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. I haven't let it set yet. Um, it did boil over just a little bit. It could have been just because the paper towel was on top of it and it hit the paper towel and bubbled and, and stuck and then ran. I, I'm not sure. So I did have to wipe a little bit out of the microwave, but not a lot. Um, lots of cheese. Um, it looks like there's some carrots. There's some broccoli in there too. A couple of big pieces, but most of it's pretty fine broccoli. I mean, you can see that's about the, the most of the piece of broccoli are about that big. And you get a couple pieces that are bigger like that. But most of it's very, very fine um, like that. So uh, so you don't get the big hunks of broccoli. But um, but it does have the broccoli in there. Probably probably eight decent sized hunks of broccoli in there. So I'm going to let this cool off because it's really, really hot right now. And uh, I'll be back. All right, it's had a little time to cool off. Um, I've been blowing on this bite right here and the rest of it's still pretty hot but um i got a bite with some carrots and a big piece of broccoli and and plenty of soup in it so here we go i like the flavor of the cheese i like the broccoli flavor um that's really good the the carrots really don't add much to it honestly but uh, maybe just a filler or something i'm not sure um but the flavor is really good. I, I don't have any complaints about the flavor. It's, it's an okay, um, decent cheese flavor. It's not like it's super, super strong, but it is, it is good. Yeah, it's not a bad broccoli, broccoli cheddar. Um, I have to compare it only because I, I recently tried um, another broccoli cheese soup. Um, it was the Oprah brand. The Oprah had like tons of broccoli florets i mean the actual green florets um lots of it i mean quite a bit of broccoli not even this doesn't even have a half of probably what that oprah one did and the oprah one was like i said the florets i see a lot of stalks in here i got maybe one floret and a lot of little pieces but most of it's stock from the actual broccoli itself um what's interesting is this was 550 that was only 350 for the oprah one so the oprah one was cheaper but has more broccoli in it, is a thicker, I think it's a thicker soup too. Uh, this one's good. This one is really good. It's not, um, it's not as good as that one though, so just know that. Um, and it's more expensive, which is kind of crazy to me. The broccoli though, even the stalks that it does have in there, they're very, very tender. Um, you know, they're not crunchy or hard. So, um, you know, overall this is a pretty good meal. All of these kind of lend me uh, to want to add a Ritz cracker to them. I don't know. That's just how I eat broccoli. I like Ritz crackers. So um, I may or may not put Ritz crackers on this. This is pretty uh, high calorie already for me. So I, I, may, I may not. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I'm going to give this one like a three and a half. It's, it's, um, I might even lean to a four, honestly, because it is really good. The, um, I wish it had more broccoli in it. 
it has the flavor, but I wish it had more, uh, you know, like the hardiness of it, of the broccoli. But, um, but it's okay. I, I, yeah, I'm going to give it a four. It is really good. Definitely worth trying out, but it is more expensive and it doesn't have as much broccoli in it. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.